Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to take all your personal picture from Facebook and take it into Google Photos. They'll still remain on Facebook.com, but it's a way to transfer them to Google Photos if you use Google Photos as well. And I'll show you right here on Facebook.com on the computer, and then I'll also show you on the mobile app where the settings is. The process is the same, just where you find the settings option is a little bit different. So on the desktop, all you have to do is on any page on facebook.com, log into your account and press this arrow right here. And right here towards the bottom, there is a settings option. Click that. And on the left side, go to your Facebook information, this tab right here. And then we want to go to transfer a copy of your photos and videos. So I'm gonna press view here. And then it's gonna ask me to log into my Facebook account again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And before I show you the rest of this, let me quickly show you on the Facebook app on your phone, the same spot for the settings. Now on your phone, you could use the Facebook app too. So click the Facebook app here. And you see the three lines in the corner that basically takes you to the settings page. If you scroll down on this page all the way, there's a settings and privacy option. And there's a settings option inside of that menu. I'm gonna go here. And if I scroll down here, there's an option all the way down here under your Facebook information that says transfer a copy of your photos and videos right on the bottom of that menu. Click that and then type in your Facebook password again. And at this point, the rest of the process is the same on the Facebook app and on facebook.com. So back to the desktop. So on the app, you come to the same place too. So you have to choose a destination, click this, and you should only have Google Photos at least at the time I'm recording this. You could also download your information directly if you just want them on your computer. There's an option there, but I'm gonna choose Google Photos in this case. And right now, you could only select one of these. So if you just want photos or videos, or if you want both, you have to just go through this process twice. Right now, I'm just gonna do photos and Google will ask to confirm this transfer. So I'm gonna press next. Now I have to log into my Google account. So that's how I'm gonna use Google Photos. So if you already have a Google account, which you should already set up to get Google Photos, go ahead and sign into the one you want. And then it says add to your Google Photo Library. I'm gonna leave this checked on here and I'm gonna press allow. And then once again, it's gonna ask me to confirm transfer. And again, it says this is where a copy of your photos or videos will be transferred to. So I'm gonna press confirm. And it's gonna take a little bit of time. So it's gonna have a pending option right here. So I'm gonna let that finish and then I'll show you what happens next. Once the photo or video transfer is complete, you should see the completed text right here. And I just have to go to Google Photos to confirm. So you could access Google Photos at google.com slash photos. Google Photo also has the Android and iOS app, so you could sign up that way and sign into Google Photos. Let me jump in there. All your pictures should be here as long as you log into the same account. So make sure it's the same Google accounts that you use to make the transfer log into Google Photos, and to verify, you could just select one of the pictures that you know was from Facebook. So this first one I'll select. And usually there's an information icon, usually the little I, if you press it, it's gonna say it was uploaded from Facebook. So I could verify that by going to Facebook on that date and seeing that on the same date, I uploaded that picture only to Facebook. So the only way you could get to Google Photos was through this process with the transfer that I showed you how to do. I hope you found this useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow social media and tech videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.